Hi guys, welcome back. This time it's going to be Let's Get Loaded or Building Model Railroad Car Loads. You can make your own loads for these nice cars you have. And here's a really nice car that I got the other day. It's a side dump load car and uh, really is a nice built car, but it kind of looks empty without anything in it. How often do you see cars like that with nothing in it? Now I have a whole bunch of different size and type aggregate that I have on hand. And of course you can just fill the car with the aggregate you want. The problem with leaving it loose like that is, well, if the car falls over, you're going to get mess all over the place. So you can place them just the way you want. Make sure that they look nice and even and natural. Then you wet them down a little bit with some water with just a little bit of dish soap in it. Just a little bit to lower the surface tension of the water. And then you mix up some Elmer's plain old white glue with a little bit of water, about a 50-50, and then you dribble it in there and you let it dry. It'll take a couple, three days. So which looks better, the empty car or the full car? What do you think? Well, how about different size aggregate? You can put in all kinds of different stuff in these cars. And here you see a number of these cars that are loaded up. Okay, well the cars look pretty darn good. Now you gotta have a story to go along with them. Why have a load without having a job to do? Here we have the local work train moving out to an area that had a cave-in. What are we doing here? Well, we're fixing the cave-in. We're fixing the side of the track. I always love to have some kind of a little story to go along with these different projects that I'm working on. Well, this is not the only thing that we could use to make a load. You can make all kinds of stuff into loads. I had a bow and arrow set that I haven't used for years and years, and I got to thinking, well, those are nice graphite tubes that the arrows are made from. So I decided I'd take and cut them up and see if I could make them into pipe loads. So here you can see me cutting the cutting the arrows. They're really easy to cut, and then of course you want to clean up the edges so they don't look like they were just cut. Here I am playing with them, sanding them a little bit to get that shiny look off of them. You want them to be dull looking like real ones. And usually they're shipped in sets of three. You notice I have some spacers underneath and I glued these tubes together. I had some chain on hand, some really small light chain. So I chained them together just to make them look a little bit more real. And here we have it sitting on a flat car. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? This whole project took me, oh, maybe 15 minutes to do, not counting the time for the glue to dry. And I think they came out really nice. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about a backstory. Why would you be carrying these tubes and where would they be going to? That's always a fun part for me. So here we are at the terminal. We're offloading these big water pipes onto the local truck to go out and put them into the city. Pretty fun, huh? Well, I hope this gave you some ideas to make some loads for some of your rail cars. Thanks for joining me today. Come back and see me again sometime. Bye now.